One of the biggest rules in all of Pokemon is that you can't catch other people's Pokemon. Today, we're going to be breaking that rule because I'm going to show you a crazy glitch in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire that allows you to catch other people's Pokemon. We've all been there before in a battle where a trainer sends out a crazy cool looking Pokemon that you don't have and you really wish you could catch it. Thanks to an oversight in the coding of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, there's one really rare situation the developers must not have tested because it allows you to capture other people's Pokemon. To set up this glitch, the first thing we need to do is beat the Elite Four and become the champion. By doing this, we unlock Roaming Pokemon, which is basically a legendary Pokemon that runs around the region. If you're playing Pokemon Ruby, you'll be able to encounter Latios, and if you're playing Pokemon Sapphire, you'll be able to encounter Latias. As long as Latios or Latias is roaming around the Hoenn region, we can do this glitch. Once we catch or defeat them, we can't do this anymore. Next, we're going to pick the trainer whose Pokemon we want to capture. The only requirement here is they must have at least two Pokemon on their team. Since a lot of the trainers in the game have at least two Pokemon on their team, that means we can use a lot of different trainers for this glitch. However, some of them will give us some weird results when we catch their Pokemon, so I'm going to be doing this glitch with a few different trainers. So, the lucky trainer whose Pokemon we're going to capture for this glitch is going to be Picnicker Carol on Route 112. Carol has a team of two Pokemon, a Talo and a Lombre. And I know, I know, they're not very exciting Pokemon, but I just want to show you how the glitch works before we get into the crazy stuff. Now, once we start battling our trainer, we have to lose the battle. We can't win, otherwise the glitch won't work. And finally, here's the most important step. After you lose that battle, you need to find Latios or Latias right away. You can't battle any more trainers, you can't encounter any more Pokemon, the next Pokemon you see has to be that Latios or Latias. If you've encountered the legendary Pokemon before, you'll be able to track them by going into your Pokedex and checking the area section. Like all roaming Pokemon, they like to move around the map a lot so they're never going to be in the same spot, which makes them pretty annoying to run into. A pretty popular place to hunt for these legendary Pokemon is Route 110. You go to the bottom of the route, you check for the Latios or Latias, and if you're not there, you go into the house and reset them again until they arrive on your map. Once you see them on the map, we run into the grass and we go and try to encounter them. Remember, if we encounter anything else, the glitch won't work. It has to be the Latios or the Latias. Next, we're gonna knock out the legendary Pokemon. Normally, knocking out a wild Pokemon would end the battle, but... What? Picnicker Carol sent out Lombre? I thought we were battling a Latios! So for some reason, this sequence of events that we just did makes the game try to send out Pokemon from the last trainer we just lost to's team. This glitch will always skip their first Pokemon, so you can't catch that one, but anything else on their team is fair game. A quick thing to note here is if we don't catch this Lombre right away, it's gonna run away from us just like a normal Latios would. So don't judge me too much for using my Master Ball on this thing. Now, interestingly enough, when we catch a regular trainer or Elite Four's Pokemon, they'll turn into a bad egg once they're in our party. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend saving after doing this, although you do get free Pokerust, so that is something. However, if you go to the Battle Tower, lose to one of the trainers there, and then do this glitch, their Pokemon won't turn into bad eggs when you catch them. So by doing this, you can actually catch wild level 100 Pokemon. And since the trainers in the Battle Tower have a pretty decent variety of Pokemon, you could actually get some cool things by doing this glitch. For example, you could use this glitch to get version-exclusive Pokémon like Zangoose and Saviper in the other games, another starter Pokémon, or even a second one of the Reggie Legendaries, or, you know, another Latios or Latias, just because. The only real downside to doing this glitch is you could only do it once. Once you knock out the roaming Latios or Latias, that's it, they're not coming back. Even though you can only do it once, I think this is a very interesting glitch because when else can you catch other people's Pokemon? 
I want to give a big shout out to the YouTuber Chickasaurus GL for making instructions on how to do this glitch. I hope you enjoyed seeing this crazy Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire glitch in action. It's so weird catching other people's Pokemon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.